Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell, it will be the only way that you will be updated when upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel, I appreciate. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this, for coming to this channel, it's the right channel. By the way, do not forget to hit that notification bell. Bell. and do not forget to give up a thumbs up give a comment in the comment section it will be the only way that will always be motivated to look for more content and more content for you in today's video we are going to talk about one interesting subject and that is interesting subject it grabs and touches the countries of East Africa. If you are coming from Kenya, you are coming from uh, Tanzania, you are coming from Rwanda, you are coming from Bruno, um, you are coming from uh, uh, Tanzania, and you are also coming from Uganda. It's quite very interesting. Remember, the East African community or the East African countries are phrasing out what we call the old passports. They are introducing what we call the e-passports. If you've ever heard of what we call the e-passports, this has been a long process since it was introduced. Remember, there was a period of what we call the COVID, COVID pandemic. COVID pandemic distracted the process in one way or the other. So they kept on longing, longing, shifting the updates all the time. Remember, most of the time when longing, longing that, keep on pushing the deadline, the deadline push it. Still, at one moment of time, the deadline day will always reach. What am I talking about? Are you coming from Uganda? Are you coming from Kenya? Are you coming from Tanzania? Please, the deadline for phasing out of the East African passports is first April as agreed by the leaders of the East African or the East African countries. In this case, let me talk about one country that is Uganda. Remember, for the other countries like Tanzania and Kenya, their process is quite very good. Why? Because they have embassies. Especially if you are living in Qatar, if you are living in Dubai, if you are living in Saudi Arabia, if you are living in Oman, if you are living in Kuwait, if you are living in any of those countries and you feel you need to renew your passports, I'm just going to give you the right procedure. What do you need to do? You are not in your country, but you need to renew your passport before it comes to 1st April. Remember, when you have that old passport, you can exit and go back home. But when it is phrased out, when the deadline reach, that means you cannot use that old passport to get a visa to a new country. And most of you, you have visas that are in the old passports. And your residence permits, wherever you are, are visas in the old passports. But again, still even if you are going to renew what you call your residence visa in any country of the Middle East where you are, you will need what you call a new passport such that they can have a new passport number in what you call your residence visa. Because they need to have the two passports, the old passports and the new passports, they convert your visa or they convert your residence back to the new passport number. That is what I'm telling you. Because remember right now, you may not see it as something that is going to inconvenience you, but when they are going to renew your residence visa, it will convenience you a little bit. That's maybe at one or the other. So let us try to share together. What I'm saying is that the East African countries for Kenya, for the survey I've taken with Kenya, their passports, they can apply for passports in the embassies in these countries. I'll give an example of Qatar. I was at the Kenyan embassy and most guys were applying for passports and they can still get the passports. But the problem is that we still have is the problem we have with the Ugandan embassies. I'm not going to, to get off, but I'll talk the what is existing. For you to renew your, your, your passport, your old passport, to convert it to a new, especially if you're in Qatar and you, you want to do that, one of the steps that you're going to do, you are going to go to the embassy of Doha in Qatar. You go to the art embassy, right to that embassy. You may be in Kuwait and you cannot access that. I know the embassies now are not so much equipped with the processing the passports. You go to that embassy if you're in Qatar. 
if you're in Saudi Arabia, if you're in Kuwait, you are in Oman, go to that embassy that represents your country. Write an application to them. Requesting or write an application to them showing, confirming your residence in that country. You know what I'm trying to mean? You write a letter, I'm so and so, and I'm a resident in this country, I've been here for this quiet period, I'm, 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 I'm requesting for your help as to renew or uh, confirming my residence so that I can renew your, my old passport to a new passport. So when you write that letter, you forward it to the embassy. The embassy would write to you what you call a confirmation letter, what you call a recommendation, sorry, a recommendation letter that is going to prove, that is going to state that you are a true resident of that country. So if you're in Qatar, that is what you have to do. So when that government or when that embassy prints for you that recommendation letter, the start of the passport processing starts from there. Yes, well and good, in these countries we have an opportunity of what you call internet. I'm just giving an advice to some that can still use up that opportunity of the internet in this country. What you do, go to your PC or go to your mobile. Fill in the application details of yourself in case of that matter. Remember, if you are going to change the old passport to a new passport, you are only renewing, you are not going to chase a new passport. Because already you have the passport with you at hand. So what are you going to do? Fill out that application. Fill in your details, submit the details. They'll give you what you call that application number. For when it comes to payment, before because before you make a booking, any booking appointment to the Ministry of Internal Affairs to, to process or to get your fingerprints at the rest, you need to first make the payment. So you can make the payment in any way. Either you have someone in Uganda who can make that payment to that responsible bank. Once that payment is made to that bank, that person can send you the receipt number. Oh, that receipt number will be captured in your application process. The next time you go to load in your application process, they will tell you book what you call the book your interview date. You can book that day that you feel you will be there. Remember this time you are not in the country. What are you going to do? The easiest procedure. You are going to have what you call and Anthony, you are going to have what you call, you're going to give what you call Anthony of power to someone. Remember, that Anthony of power you are going to give, it's someone who is living in Uganda. It's a person who is on ground, who can move to the passport office. You're going to write a letter of an Anthony of power to the person, you include his name, his national ID number. If he has a passport, you can also include it. You give the powers to that person to go to the Ministry of Internal Affairs to process that passport for you, to take the documents for you, sent in a PDF form. Also, to, in case your passport is out, for that person to sign out your passport. Your passport. That is what you call an antonal power. For people who do not know, you attach your recommendation letter, attach your cut ID, attach your old passport, uh, some of them you can even put them in an envelope because they will need their old passports. Put them in an envelope for what to that person that you've given what you call an Anthony of power. So it's that Anthony of power or that person with the Anthony of power is going to be that person who will sign up or sign out your passport in case it is printed out. That letter should the Anthony of power letter should be addressed to the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the printing in Uganda or in your country instructing them that that person will be able to is going to sign out on your behalf for that person then after all the processing is done if once all the uh, passport printed then you can look at an option of having that passport back to you. you can either use what you call the courier services you can use DHL but or FedEx but try to use those means that you think are the safest to deliver your document to you this is the simplest procedure that you can follow or you can do not to get into what you call hassle and make, or having what you call costly payments to people to print for your passport because you never have to trust out anyone that's going to print for you that passport that is a document for you that is going to help you in one way or the other i think i've tried to share something uh, thank you so much for coming back to this channel so remember the old passports are phasing out and the deadline is first april 
all Ugandans, all Kenyans, all Tanzanians, just know that all the deadline for the old passport is 1st April. So you need to do it as soon as possible to avoid delays wherever you are at your place of work with the change of your residence and changing of your details. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's always Max from the Max Creation, giving you the updates, giving you all that you require. By the way, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. It will be the only way that I'll look, I'll be motivated to make and look for more content for you. If you feel this video is very important, share it with a friend. I'll always be more than happy and more than happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. See you again in the next video as we try to see more interesting information.